We've got some subs out today. I'm going to be taking these out of the box to do a little comparison of what each driver looks like. This is the Harbottle Audio BS driver. JTR S1 and the Dayton UM18. You can see the Dayton is a little smaller depending on which way you set it. JTR is the smallest one out of them all, but it also is the heaviest. The JTR is pretty damn heavy. So I'm gonna take these out of the box and I'll show you guys what they look like. Here we go. All three subs are out. Take a look at the Har bottle. Big massive spider, dual voice coil. These are really nice too. They fit a pretty thick wire in there. Inside the box. This has got a double, double baffle. Three quarter, two pieces of three quarter put together. And the JTR, smaller spider on it. Got a taller surround, only a single voice coil on it. Totally different motor. This one is definitely uh, stiffer. The same pressure pushing on the hard bottle. It moves quite a bit more than the JTR. The JTR also has some T-nuts with these Allen bolts to screw in where the hard bottle just had some Phillips screws holding it in, which I'm not too much of a fan of. Would've been nice if they did the uh, the T-nuts on it. And the speaker power, SP1 2400 amp, a little bit of insulation, thin wire, but they used a triple baffle on the front of the JTR. Maybe that's why it's a little bit heavier. The uh, driver is also heavier about of all three of them. And then the uh, Dayton. Dual voice coil. Spider seems to be about the same as the JTR. This one is uh, stitched tinsel leads. Looks like the JTR's maybe stitched underneath or glued, can't really tell. But that's the bottom of the JTR. There's no uh, vent hole on the bottom of that motor. This one has been stuffed. This is the Parts Express pre-cut box. So it just needs to be assembled. It also has the T-nuts with the Allen bolts, which is very nice. Double baffle. That's all three of them. I'll show you. The same force, this one. Not as stiff as the H or JTR, but not as loose as the hard bottle. The hard bottle's got some good X Max that comes with this one. I think it's 39 millimeters. Probably with that giant spider. So that's it. Dayton UM18, four cubic foot Parts Express flat pack box. JTR S1, which is their older version of the RS1. 
And a nice, nice small box. It's impressive how big that box is and what kind of uh, output it does. And then the new hard bottle, M18 box. And this is the VS driver from their group buy that he did. I just got to stain the box and then do a head to head. Let's see what happens. 